Hey there folks. Today I'm gonna to walk you through the lighting and electronic system on my Autopilot 120 from Old Town. Mainly I just wanted to show you how I set up my lighting system and wired in my fish finder because uh, I've had a lot of questions about how I set mine up. So let's get started first. So the, I'm not really gonna go over how the, the battery is installed to the motor because it comes already pre-wired for that. You don't have to worry about those issues. But let's take a look at the rest of the kayak and how I got it set up. All right, so coming back here, the main thing that we're gonna look at first is gonna be underneath the seat. Uh, so if I pop this back here, you can see this is the battery, which is a 100 amp hour lithium battery that goes into this plug, which then plugs the motor in right here. So that's already all wired and taken care of for you by the factory. But here you can see I've added an additional latch right here and what this plugs into is this battery box that i designed inside this battery box there is a 10 amp hour lithium battery which has a cigarette lighter to connector here and if i power that on it gives me a voltage readout right here which you guys can't see because it's acting weird but it's 13.5 and i also have two usb ports there i can charge my phone or whatever cameras I need to but mainly that allows me to power that on what this lets me do is i can plug this into here like so and then i can set that battery power box right there and it fits under the seat nicely and now i have power running into my internal part of the kayak and i can show you where i wired everything in Right here, you'll see there's a mess of wires down here. But I have a Yak Power 5 position digital switch system right here. So I store the remote here, and since I have that powered on, we are good to go. And I even installed a position for that remote to lock in right there. So you can see here I drilled a hole and ran a through hole wiring kit up to a power cord on my seven inch Helix Hummingbird Fish Finder. That, right now I can't power it on because I have no power running to it even though I have that connected because I have to turn it on via this remote. So I hit the remote and power it on. Position one is to my fish finder. So if I do that, it turns red. Now I should be able to power this up. And there we go. Okay. So next we can go up to the front of the kayak. You can see here I've installed two LEDs on each side. And that's B for bow. And I turn those on. You can see I got red navigation lights here and green there. Moving backwards, M for the middle, you can see I installed two amber deck lights that face forward. I didn't want lights coming back into my eyes when I'm fishing in the early morning, evening, at night, because it'll just blow out my vision. You know, if I need something to tie with, I'll use a headlamp. But this lets me see my, my deck illuminated, so if I drop something, and these amber lights are really nice on the eyes in bright light. Okay, moving back to the stern. Again, I have those same style uh, amber lights. And I'll use S. And I can turn those on. You can see that amber color right there. And finally here in my little accessory storage box open up you can see I have installed two lights here as well and that will be for position two and there you go you can see them turn on these are actually UV glow lights so I can see in here at night but I can also charge up my glow-in-the-dark lures for walleye fishing salmon fishing trout fishing etc so that's really nice so then I can just shut off each one individually or I can power everything off in one go by just hitting the power button. You can see the fish finder went out. All the other lights have gone out as well. So I'm not drawing on the battery any longer. 
So when I'm not using the remote, I can either store it in this accessory box here, um, or I can lock it here while I'm out on the water so I have easy access to my remote. And that's just on a GoPro mount. So I don't necessarily have to have the remote. I can use my phone as well and go to my Yak Power app here. And you can see there's that remote essentially right there. So I just turn that on and I can turn on the bow lights by, it's basically the same remote. So turn on the bow lights, there you go. Mid turns on and off the amber lights and stern again, same thing. So it's just basically the same thing. Just gives you another option if you forgot your remote, you can still turn things on and off using your phone. And then finally, um, I'm actually gonna use a battery powered 360 busy pull on the gear track on the back. And the reason that is, is um, I'm not always gonna be running a white light, 360 white light if I'm fishing smaller ponds where it's not really necessary and there's not a lot of power boats around and I just need my lights to operate, but I can turn on that by twisting that and that just goes on that gear track and makes it nice and easy. All right, so I will include links to where I got the Yak Power products as well as the little LED button lights. They're really nice because they just have two little threaded screws on the back. You just drill a hole, drop them through, screw them in through the back, and they're solid. I did put a little bit of uh, marine goop, especially on the lights in the bow, just because the waves might be breaking against them. I don't want to get any water penetration into the hole. I will also include uh, links to the components for the power box build. It's very simple. It's just a dry box, a 10 amp, our lithium battery and then it's just got the little interface that you just knock three holes in the dry box and screw it into that includes the harness on the back side the wiring harness the usb voltage meter the cigarette lighter and the on off switch it's very easy to do if you guys have any questions about what i showed you here today just let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you out on the water a lot brighter and just remember fish smarter not harder bye guys